everybody. Welcome back to Simulating 20 Years on NASCAR Thunder 2003. It's your boy, JK. All right, so quick pause. I am recording this. <clears throat> Uh, obviously, you'll find out I recorded this right after the other episode. I just wanted to say thank you for 150 subscribers. Uh, my goal is to hit 500 by the end of the year, so thank you. This is a milestone. We're going to keep rolling. Now, back to other me. Back to other me. Man, I am excited. So, I am recording this. Like, basically, I took a two-hour break. I'm dog-sitting for some family friends. Uh, well, my girlfriend's family friends. Girl, something, something like that. Uh, anyways, dog-sitting. Uh, so I took a two-hour break. So I'm basically recording this right after I recorded the last episode. That season was an acid trip, basically. If you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. Um, if you're new here and you enjoy this video, make sure to hit subscribe, hit the like button, comment. Uh, let me know what you want to see. There's some other stuff that I'm going to start working on, maybe a career mode. Not sure if I want to do the career mode in this one or in 2004. Um, I did a dry or a test run, dry run on NASCAR Thunder 2004, just to see what it was like to simulate in that, and the uh, tasty, tasty results. So I'm very excited for that when the time comes. But we're gonna stay here, obviously 2003. Uh, well, 2008. So my prep <laughs> for this year has been not the greatest, but. Um, Basically, the huge thing to note can can uh, when you take into consideration what's happened in this simulation in our timeline, Dale Jarrett runs the final race of his career this year. Uh, he was full time for the last time in 07, and then the Bristol Food City 500 is what I found to be his last race. So Dale Jarrett um, done in 2008 ra racing for Michael Waltrip Racing. Um, this is also the first year that Dale Jr. is at Hendrick, Kyle Busch is at Gibbs, uh, Gibbs' is first year with Toyota, and Dale Jr. would win for the first time at Hendrick in this season, but it would be the last time you would see him win until 2012, which I don't see happening in this sim, but it could. So, with that being said, uh, to recap you, if you haven't gone back and watched the other video again, go back and watch it. It was awesome. It was crazy. Uh intense to say the least but uh sterling marlin started the season off with a daytona 500 win uh and bobby labani led the points for most of the first half of the year and then we had a crazy battle at the end for the championship with jeff gordon coming out on top i said the drive for five was gonna have to wait till 2008 that was a nice rhyme and uh it didn't end up having to as he would pick up his first championship in the simulation his fifth on his career and probably starting a another run of dominance until he gets eight and retires if i had to get so i'm excited let's hop into it let's see what happens at the 2008 daytona 500 which was won by ryan newman and my birthday party in 2008 was on the day of the daytona 500 so that was cool um Got to watch Ryan Newman win the 500 on the day I celebrated my birthday. I picked him in the driver's pool. It was sick. Uh, but yeah, 2008 Daytona 500. Let's get it started. Whoo. Starting out hot. 0 0.037 margin of victory. Not Dale Jr. Not Tony Stewart. Mark Martin wins a Daytona 500. I think that's his second in the simulation. I think it's his second. I am scrolling to check. It is his second. He won in 2004 also. So Mark Martin, uh, still a choker, still a massive choker, but, you know, that's okay. <laughs> that is okay. He is a two-time Daytona 500 champion now. Uh, all hail Mark Martin. With... Sterling Marlin finishing second, Matt Kenza third, Bobby Labonte in fourth, Jeff Gordon in fifth, Ashton Lewis, great start in the four car, finishing sixth, Kurt Busch, Ricky Rudd, Dale Jarrett, and Chad Chaffin round out the top ten. Almost forgot how to do my job. Rusty Wallace and Kurt Busch DNF. Also, Bobby Labonte DNFing. Um, A. Smith started on the pole. And with C. Spicer starting second. So we had an all-fantasy driver front row. Jeff Burton wins at Rockingham by less than a second over Dale Jr. Let's just say uh, Dale Jr. was catching him. Or Jeff Burton passed him late in the running. We'll go with that. Uh, Jeff Gordon finishes third. Matt Kenseth, Ricky Rudd. 
And then Dale Jarrett, Jimmy Johnson, Mark Martin, Tony Stewart, and Kevin Harvick, a top 10 to get the year started. Back to a little more normal of a top 10, as uh, last season, top 10s went crazy. Uh, Mark Martin promptly DNFs. I'm not surprised. That's It's in his DNA. Shout out Harrison Burton, finishing down here, also DNFing. A uh, bunch of fantasy drivers. Kyle Petty also DNF'd. Oh, wow. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. Kevin Harvick wins at Las Vegas. Now, Kevin Harvick finished sixth in points last season, I think. Had a great, great, great season. Winning here early in 2008. Sterling Marlin finishes second. Ashton Lewis Jr. in third. What? What? Okay. Uh, that four car coming alive. Uh, Dale Jr. in fourth, Matt Kenseth fifth, Rusty Wallace, Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, Jeff Burton, and Johnny Benson all in the top ten. That four car, top ten and a top five to start the year. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Ooh, rough outing for Bobby Labonte and John Andretti as they both DNF here at Atlanta. And Dale Jr. beats Kevin Harvick. Wow, by 2.2 seconds. Um... Kurt Busch in third. The youth movement is starting, kinda. Uh, Rusty Wallace in fourth. Mark Martin in fifth. Bill Elliott. Tony Stewart. Jeff Gordon, another top ten. Dale Jarrett and Jimmy Johnson finds his way into the top ten. Ryan Newman just on the outside looking in. Uh, obviously, if you haven't watched, go watch it. He won his first race last simulation. Ryan Newman did. Pumped. Probably peaked my mic out again. Second straight episode. I'm hoping to do it for a third straight episode right now. Uh, but this is an exciting start to the year. Kevin Harvick, good momentum here to start. Needs to needs to keep it going. Oh, oh boy. Uh, hopefully I zoomed in on the margin of victory when I said that. One-tenth. Almost two-tenths in it. A lot of DNFs. Chad Chaffin, nobody cares. But Kenseth and Mark Martin DNF along with Johnny Benson. Dale Jr. beats Tony Stewart to the stripe. Kurt Busch in third, Sterling Marlin in fourth, Jimmy Johnson in top five, Jeff Burton, Dale Jarrett, Jeff Gordon, Michael Waltrip, and Terry Labonte. Wow, Junebug. Getting it done at Darlington. I love that. Also, quick note, the schedule is going to change after this season, so stay tuned till the end of the episode if you want to see the schedule change and what I did with it because I haven't got there yet so I don't even know what I've done with it yet but it's gonna be exciting kind of exciting I guess it's probably not gonna be that exciting just some night races but who cares still cool no DNFs no cautions four second margin of victory shout out Harrison Burton finishing 39th <laughs> damn it it happened again Jeff Jeff Burton wins the race you're breaking the illusion Jeff uh Jeff Burton wins at fall spring bristol not fall bristol i get them confused i'm dumb matt kenseth in second mark martin rebounds from two early dnfs to finish third sterling marlin bobby labani dale jarrett ricky rudd dale jr jeff gordon and rusty wallace all in the top 10. i also realized i completely forgot to check check i don't know why i said that so weird but i forgot to check the standings um really Really? No wins. Two wins. No wins. Two wins. So, Sterling Marlin leads the points. Just top five in it. Out here. Uh, Jeff Burton in second. Only 16 points back. Again, I know early in the season to check. But it's nice to see who the early players might be. Obviously, Jeff Burton and Dale Jr. are going to be here. They have two wins. Jeff Gordon has been pretty solid to start the season. Only two top fives, though. Kind of surprising. Dale Jarrett's obviously here. Matt Kenseth. Harvick is in 731 points back. And Jimmy Johnson up into eight with a top five. And a 10.8 average finish. So, interesting stuff at the top of the charts here so far. I did not expect Sterling Marlin to be the leader in the clubhouse. What's his average finish? 6.2. Okay. Makes a little more sense, but I mean, uh, not really. Not with, not without any race wins. Same with Jeff Gordon being here. I figured Burton and Junior would be first and second. Another caution-free race. Eight tenths of a second is the margin of victory. Dale Junior wins race number three on the season. Ricky Rudd finishes second. 
Bill Elliott finishes third, Sterling Marlin, Jeff Gordon, Matt Kenseth, Dale Jarrett, Mark Martin, Bobby Labonte, and Tony Stewart is your top 10. Junebug only led five laps. Interesting. So he caught Ricky Rudd with three laps to go and passed him. That's what I'm going to go. <laughs> I don't know why. It makes it more fun. Zero cautions. I think that's two zero caution races. Uh, maybe not in a row. Oh, yeah, in a row. Texas and then Bristol back-to-back. -back. So, interesting. Interesting. Ooh, 5.1 second margin of victory. Jeff Burton and Ward Burton both DNF. I don't know why I found that funny, but I do. Uh, the Burton bros DNFing next to each other. Jeff Burton, early hit to the championship fight. Oh, oh my God, he is dominating right now. Dale Jr., fourth win on the season. Leads 436 laps. Yeah, yeah, he dominated. Sterling Marlin finishes second. Jeff Gordon in third. Matt Kenseth, Rusty Wallace, Tony Stewart, Dale Jarrett, Mark Martin, Kurt Busch, Kevin Harvick. Wow. All right. Dale Jr. Yeah. Whoa. In what would be his first season at Hendrick in real life, by the way. This is what could have... No, it's not what would have happened in 08 if he'd have stayed at DEI. But, you know. Yeah, it's still crazy. Uh, Ricky Rudd and Tony Stewart, DNF. Really the only big ones. I'm kind of disappointed Tony Stewart hasn't done more. Figured he might be a, uh, a championship threat. You never know. But, okay, Matt Kenseth. Welcome to Victory Lane. I said that last time, too. Um, anyways, Matt Kenseth. Your winner here at Talladega, Dale Jarrett finishes second. Mark Martin in third, Jeff Burton, Jeff Gordon, Sterling Marlin, Bobby Labonte, Rusty Wallace, Kevin Harvick, Ward Burton. Where's Junior? Junior, why you do shit? Why you do shit at Talladega? This is your place. Oh, well. Uh, neither here nor there. I didn't swear. Sterling Marlin finished sixth. I think he has a top. I, wanna, I feel like Sterling has a top ten every race this season. I will double check when we get to the... Uh, to the thing but yeah i mean that's crazy consistency here early from the 40 car oh boy kurt bush dnfs bobby labani also dnfs are there more dnfs there is rusty wallace dnfs that's it jerry nady finishes behind a uh a fantasy driver who started on pole on pure pace i'm so confused matt kenseth again kenseth is that back-to-back? -back? Did we see Junior, Junior, and then Kenseth, Kenseth? I think we did. Uh, Sterling Marlin again finishes second. Jeff Gordon finishing third. Dale Junior back in the top five. Ricky Rudd in fifth. Jeff Burton, Michael Waltrip. Tony Stewart, Bill Elliott, Dale Jarrett. Jimmy Spencer with an 11. Good to see Mikey back up in the top 10. I'm interested to see. I don't know. I don't know. I, I One thing I wish that was a little different about this game is the silly season instead of people just retiring um i wish they would go to different cars like that would have been cool i feel like i feel like i could make a cool nascar game we would definitely throw it back to like nascar thunder 2003 4 chase for the cup 05 type stuff all the stats and stuff but there would be there would be driver transfers kind of like how f1 does it f1 games i don't know I, I have to be all fleshed out and i'm not exactly a game designer but make nascar gaming great again please other than just i racing as much as i love i racing petty enterprises mike brown okay i don't know why that just stood out to me but it did and i don't know why his rookie year is 2007 when he you know i'm just not not gonna ask any questions that's the only fantasy driver that doesn't have an actual team never mind Jeff Gordon is second in the points behind Sterling Marlin. Still grinding it out. Uh, does not have a top 10 in every race. He has seven top fives and eight top 10s in 10 races, though. That's pretty, pretty inhuman shit right now to start the season. Jeff Gordon in second. We just said that. Matt Kenseth in third. Dale Jr. grinning because he's won four races already this year. Um, okay, we got to keep an eye on this, by the way. He's five away from tying his career record, or career total with 93, Jeff Gordon is. Uh, Dale Jarrett in fifth, Jeff Burton, Mark Martin, sixth and seventh, anybody? Kevin Harvick in 10th with the win already, five top tens, average finish of 13 and a half, not very, not very great. 
Jimmy Johnson. Hold up. Mikey in 15th in points. What? Where's the best you've finished? Not any... Well, oh, pretty shitty. So 15th is pretty good for old Mikey. Ashton Lewis Jr. After the top five and top ten... Two top tens to start the year has not done the greatest. Interesting. Interesting stuff as we head to the Pontiac Excitement 400. Um, hopefully it's not the Pontiac Mid 400 because that would be kind of sad now that I've, you know, introduced the race and stuff. It, I would be very, very let down. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Jeff Gordon DNFs. Um, alrighty. Uh, 3.8 margin of victory. Hello, Dale Jarrett. Welcome back. Matt Kenseth finishes second. Kurt Busch in third, Dale Jr. in fourth, Sterling Marlin, consistent, top five, uh, fifth place, Ward Burton, Ryan Newman in the top ten, Jeff Burton, Ashton Lewis Jr. back in the top ten, and Tony Stewart in tenth, and Jimmy Johnson finishes eleventh. Jeff Gordon, kind of a bad time to DNF, brother. Kind of a bad time to DNF. As it is time for a crown, another crown jewel. Um, well... Just a crown jewel. It's the, the first one other than the Daytona 500, obviously. Uh, Coke 600. Excited to see what happens. Um, Jeff Gordon needs to rebound. Dale Jarrett starting to heat up, looking for championship number six. Ooh, it's yeah, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. Uh, this I think this is I think this is a pretty I'd say races. 12 to 18 are really crucial and can really like make or break your season so far that I've found so far in the sim. At least that's how I that's how I feel every other time. Obviously the end of the season can really hurt you too, but uh this is a pretty critical part. You wanna kinda stay in touch if you're you know, right there if you're not leading the points or whatever, but yeah, let's let's get into it. I don't know why I went on that random rant, but welcome to the channel if you haven't been here. I said it was important. I said it was important. Sterling Marlin DNFs and Dale Jr. wins. That eight car has been a rocket ship this year. He has 20, is that 27 wins now? I think that's 27 for his career. Which gives him two more than he had in real life. So just keep that in the back of your head. Uh, Dale Jarrett finishes second. Ryan Newman in third. Rusty Wallace in fourth. Nice to see Ryan ahead of Rusty when they finish right next to each other. Matt Kenseth in fifth, Johnny Benson, Tony Stewart, Matt Ken uh, that's not Matt Kenseth, that's Kurt Busch, Jimmy Johnson, and Jeff Gordon in tenth, Kevin Harvick on the outside looking in of the top ten, 5.3 second margin of victory. And now I have to look if Dale Jr. has won a Coke 600 before because he's won a couple of different crown jewels. I can't remember if a 600 one of them or not. So it is the first in sim coke 600 that dale jr has won so round of applause to dale jr um he has won a crown jewel almost every year it kind of kind of crazy the only year i don't think he won a crown jewel was 02 which yeah he won the southern 500 in 03 southern 500 in 04 which I need to note, or I'll forget. Um, okay, he didn't win one in 2005 either. I thought he had gotten one, but he did not. Harvick won the Southern 500 that year, if that's right. And then didn't get one in 06. So that totally just shot holes in everything I was trying to build up. But nonetheless, Dale Jr., Coke 600 winner. I think he just needs to get the Brickyard, and he's won all of them. Because he won Bristol last year. I don't know. I, again, another random tangent. But my brain is just... Still trying to recover from earlier... The earlier season today that I recorded today. Well, that's not good. I, I mean, I talked about it. You gotta be consistent through this middle part of the season. Jeff Gordon, another DNF. Michael Waltrip, DNFs. Sterling Marlin finally wins a race. Uh, and quite handily, 6.3. Four second margin of victory leads 280 laps. Harvick finishes second. Kurt Busch in third. Dale Jr. fourth. Jimmy Johnson in fifth. 
Kenseth, Burton, Jeff, Burton, Tony Stewart, and Ryan Newman, Ricky Rudd round out the top 10. I said and before I said the ninth place driver. It kind of threw me off, but Sterling Marlin win number one on the year. Uh, good run for Harvick, too. He kind of needed that, but kind of... Where is Dale Jarrett? Hold on. He's in 12th. Okay, not as far down as I thought I was going to have to go, but scared me for a second, DJ. After our first trip to the Poconos, we have a DNF for Jerry Nadu, our King Scott Wimmer. Oh, poor Matt Kenseth. Eight, eight and a half second margin of victory. Kurt Busch and Ricky Craven did not DNF together, but um, not, I mean, too bad it's not first and second right here. That would have been kind of nice. As Dale Jarrett wins at Pocono. I I mean, domination like that, it had to be. Him or Jeff Gordon. Uh, J Jimmy Johnson finishes second. A lot of good runs from JJ lately. Uh, that's good to see. Rusty Wallace in third. Bobby Labonte fourth. Mark Martin in fifth. Jeff Gordon in sixth. Terry Labonte. Chad Chaffin. Michael Waltrip. And Jeff Burton. I do not see Dale Jr. Where is the eight car? Oh, he finished 14th. Not good. Hey, good run for McMurray, though, finishing 12th. Like to see that turn into a top 10, top 5, maybe another win for old J-Mac. Well, it's not going to be this race. Is Jamie McMurray DNFs. Uh, Dale Jr. also DNFs. Kenseth DNFs. Good lordy. They're just going to hand it to somebody. We all know who on a silver platter. Yes, Dale Jarrett. <laughs> it had to be. It had to be. He just uh, he probably dominated. Oh, not really. Only 54 laps led. Who led the most laps then? Oh, he did. Okay. Um, regardless, he takes advantage of everybody else DNFing except for Jeff Gordon. Mark Martin finishes second. Ricky Rudd, Tony Stewart, Sterling Marlin, Ward Burton, Rusty Wallace. A lot of twos right there. We got the 28, the 20, 22, 2, 29, 24, 48. 48 has nothing to do with the other numbers, but I don't. Man, give me a break. I have no idea, but. Uh, Harvick, another good run. Jeff Gordon, back into the top 10. Dale Jarrett wins. Dale Jarrett having starting to come alive here, which is, uh, for you Dale Jarrett fans out there, good to see for you, I'm sure. And if I had to place my bets, I'm going to say Dale Jarrett's probably the points leader. If if Only because Sterling Marlin DNF, but that's really the best guess I have. And it's true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dale Jarrett, Sterling Marlin, Dale Jr., 122 points back. Jeff Gordon, I mean, not out of it. We saw him come back from a big points deficit in the very first episode. Uh, Kevin Harvick up in seventh. Jimmy Johnson in ninth. And that is the highest he's ever been in points in the sim. So good to see for old Jimmy Jam. But yeah, uh, Ashton Lewis in, in what, 17th? First year in the four. I don't, I honestly don't know how Mike Skinner was doing, but it sure as hell was not 17th. Um, that's pretty good. Man, Dale Jarrett, is he just gonna, good thing I checked, is he just gonna walk over everybody? Two more wins to tie Dale Sr. Oh, wow. Um, a lot to unpack here. A lot to unpack here. Halfway, about halfway through the season. Not quite halfway. Um, junior with five wins. I mean, he's doing what he can. Jarrett with three wins. It's it's going to be a tough battle. Let's see what Infineon holds for us as we start to get ready to cross over the halfway point of the season. Um... Oh, boy. Uh, this is going to be another one. A lot to unpack. Uh, 1.9 second margin of victory. We finished 35th and ran all the laps, which means there's a lot of chaos behind us. And I see Ryan Newman and Jeremy Mayfield there. Oh, my God. Okay. Kevin Harvick DNF. Jimmy Johnson DNF. <laughs> we just talked about both of them having really good runs. And Warren Burton wins at Infineon. Okay. I was kind of hoping it'd be like Johnny Benson. But Johnny Benson in fifth place. Uh, Kurt Busch in second. Jeff Gordon in third. Ricky Rudd fourth. Obviously, just talked about Johnny Benson. Jeff Burton in sixth. Rusty Wallace. Bill Elliott. Tony Stewart. Scott Wimmer with a top ten. Hell yes, baby. Let's go. Uh, Dale Jr. down in 15th. Not making a great impression there. 
banger alert at Daytona. Eight tenths of a second is the margin of victory, as it should be. Um, I'll be honest. I don't know why I'm expecting it. I don't think it can happen. But I'm low-key just kind of waiting for the day that we end up winning on accident somehow, even though we're not racing. We're literally just simulating. Um, but, of course, customary Harrison Burton DNF. Oh, no. Jeff Gordon DNF. Oh, we all know what that means. Sterling Marlin won the race, not Dale Jarrett. I was fully expecting, <laughs> I was fully expecting it to be Dale Jarrett. Uh, Jeff Green finished second. We were eight-tenths of a second away from having a crazy upset. Uh, Harvick in third, Dale Jarrett, Jeff Burton in the fourth and fifth positions, Rusty Wallace, Jeremy Mayfield, Bobby Labonte, Matt Kenseth, Dale Jr. Dale Jr. started this season off so well and has just not not been there lately. Oh, official like a referee whistle. Golly, another one? 1 1.67, 1 1.67, 0 0.167 margin of victory. Harrison Burton DNFs, Ward Burton also DNFs. Uh, any other Burtons DNF? Ryan Newman ran out of gas, we'll say. Uh, Jimmy Johnson DNF'd. I had sorted and I got, I was about to be very excited even though I knew he DNF'd. Bobby Labonte wins at Chicagoland. Now this is a guy I would I wouldn't mind seeing Bobby Labonte retire or Terry just to get somebody new in the five and eighteen. Uh, Sterling Marlin's another one I'm kind of waiting for him to give it up just to see what else we can get in these uh, in the some of these I, I guess better ish cars. Like I don't know if Jamie McMurray can move again, but I'd love to see Jamie McMurray in like the eighteen or the forty just because I think that'd be cool. But regardless, uh, Bobby Labonte wins. Dale Jr. finishes second. God, uh, Junebug couldn't get back by him. I don't know. Sterling Marlin in third. Rusty Wallace in fourth. Kevin Harvick in fifth. Mark Martin in sixth. Jeff Gordon in seventh. Bill Elliott, Tony Stewart, Kurt Busch. Dale Jarrett's in twelfth. So, good run. Hopefully this means Junior's going to make a little bit of a comeback. Uh, Jeff Gordon, I, uh, I said he was dead in the water last season. And he ended up winning it all. So I don't know. I don't know what to expect. But that's that's cool to see Bobby Labonte get a win in what maybe is last season. You never know. Oh, well, Bobby Labonte DNF. <laughs> Bobby Labonte DNF. Mark Martin DNF. Steve Park DNF. Michael Waltrip DNF. Robbie Gordon. Kurt Busch. Elliot Sadler. A.K.A. Harrison Burton made it 20 whole laps in New Hampshire. And Dale Jarrett whips the field again. Five and a half second margin of victory. Matt Kenseth actually leads the most laps on the day. Junior, again, finishes second. Kenseth, third. Tony Stewart, fourth. Jeff Gordon, fifth. Sterling Marlin, Jeff Burton, Kevin Harvick, Jeremy Mayfield, and Ricky Rudd. Jeremy Mayfield, I feel like getting close to a win. He's He's been pretty consistently bottom half of the top five. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm getting that feeling, but I just have that feeling. Oh, man, Ricky Craven DNF'd. I, I don't remember the last time he got a top 10 or a top 5. It's been a... I feel like it's been a hot minute. Um, sad to see, though. I... I feel... You know, I've, I say I've never played this game. I have to get my thumbnails somehow. So I've been doing, like, quick graces to get my thumbnails. Ricky Craven always seems to be up front. I literally don't know how he does it. Uh, Dale Jarrett goes and wins again at Pocono. Uh, followed by Jeff Gordon and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Chad Chaffin finishes fourth. I am shocked. Uh, he hasn't done much in the 36. Bill Elliott finishes fifth. Ward Burton, Jeff Burton, Matt Kenseth, Ricky Rudd, and Bobby Labonte all in the top ten. But interesting to see the three, I would say the three, other than Sterling Marlin, the three championship protagonists. One, two, three. That's kind of That's kind of neat. Kind of neat. I'm about to hit sort. We all know what we're going to see. I just want to see how bad it is it's not that bad it's not that bad junior only 134 points back sterling marlin 153 points back i didn't do the math but it's like that's about a race i think it's 155 as a full race jeff gordon 330 back that's bad that's bad kevin harvick still in the top 10 in points um one off his spot from last year so i think I really think Harvick has shown so much improvement these last two seasons. I think Harvick could be a guy that 
later later seasons we get a couple people retired harvick could win a championship and i'm all for it um yeah jimmy johnson maybe not as much if he has another season like this one where he won two races but gets more gets like more of the top tens here 69 top tens for his career by the way nice um yeah, I, I don't know. I think that the later seasons are definitely going to be interesting when we get guys like Dale Jarrett, Sterling Marlin, and Jeff Gordon retired. Uh, speaking of which, Dale Jarrett just tied the Intimidator for, on the all-time wins list, so that is interesting. I uh, feel like it would be fitting for him to win his sixth championship this season. It just kind of feels like it has to happen now. <laughs> uh, big season, you tie and slash pass Dale Earnhardt Sr. on the all-time win list, and then you you know, you do the thing with the thing and end up winning the championship. But we'll have to wait and see. We're just a little over halfway uh, as we get ready for the Brickyard 400. But it really, I mean, it take it would take some bad luck from all three of these guys to get Jeff Gordon back in it. So he might be, he might officially be out. But um, half the season to go, still a long, long time. So interested to see how this all shakes out he could just go on a hot streak and win like eight races in a row you never know no dnfs no cautions 13 second margin of victory uh has to be dale jarrett right it's mark martin well all right then two crown jewels in the same year for mark martin dominated i mean he just crushed the field led 101 laps 13 second margin of victory jeff gordon finishes second they just followed each other up through the field uh ryan newman finishes third after starting outside pole that's pretty good for the rocket man dale jarrett in fourth kevin harvick fifth where he started jimmy johnson in sixth ricky rudd dale jr kurt bush and sterling marlin stays put in 10th so pretty cool mark martin brickyard winner sounds sounds nice got a nice ring to it so i took a quick look mark i can't see if mark martin actually won a brickyard but he won the poll and it is a very popular thing so yeah we head to Watkins glen now uh jimmy johnson's won like the last two Watkins glen races so could we see another i don't know i uh, i feel like it's not gonna happen but i think it i don't I don't know. Jeff Gordon's got to do something to get back in this championship race, though. That's what I do know. Maybe it'll be Jeff Gordon's time to shine. Thank God he didn't DNF. Uh, I was worried for a second that he was gonna. Three seconds is the margin of victory here at the Glen. Matt Kenseth wins at Watkins Glen, followed by Kurt Busch, Dale Jarrett, Ryan Newman, another top five, Kevin Harvick, a top five, Bill Elliott, Ashton Lewis Jr., Jeff Burton, Ricky Rudd, Ward Burton. Dale Jr., Jeff Gordon. Uh, did I see? I had. Hello? Did he? Yeah, he finished third. What am I doing? I was like, where's Dale Jarrett at? I don't know where Jeff Gordon was. I didn't look. Quite honestly, he's toast. We have a banger at Michigan. Seven tenths of a second margin of victory. It's not going to be Terry Labonte, who I, quite honestly, Texas Terry, he's an all right guy, but I think he should just hang it up in this sim. Um, uh, not trying to be rude or anything, but you know, it, give somebody else a shot in the five. Um, who's it going to be? Place your bets now. Rusty Wallace. Oh my God. <laughs> Rusty Wallace wins. He beats Dale Jarrett. Johnny Benson finishes third. Great to see him in the top five. Jeff Gordon finishes fourth. Ashton Lewis Jr. has another top five. Kurt Busch, Bill Elliott, Kevin Harvick, Sterling Marlin, Ryan Newman. Of course, Ryan Newman was on the poll. Dale Jr. languishing back in 13th. Yeah, it, yeah I mean, it's it's pretty well going to be cooked if he doesn't start doing some stuff here soon. Uh, Sharpie 500. Dale Jr. won it last year. Who's going to win it this year? I don't know. That took so long to simulate. Uh, six tenths of a second is the margin of victory. It's not going to be Bobby Labonte, Bill Elliott, Jerry Nadeau, or Ricky Craven. Or who else might it not be? Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Burton. I didn't think it was going to be either of them. Although Jeff Burton's won a handful of crown jewels. I think it's going to be Dale Jarrett. Oh, it's Bristol, baby! Uh, it's not! <laughs> back to back to back years. Dale Jr. wins the Bristol Night Race. Jeff Gordon finishes fifth. 
Dale Jarrett finishes second. Harvick third. Mark Martin in fourth. Um, interesting. Johnny Benson in sixth. Kurt Busch, Chad Chaffin, Ricky Rudd, and Tony Stewart. What has Chad Chaffin been doing in the top ten so much this year? I genuinely have no idea. Um, and Dale Jr.'s real life Bristol night race came in 04, I'm pretty sure. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. It came in like 03, 04, 05, something. Not 05. I think it was 04. Um, so he has two for his career. I <laughs> I know that one. I know that one now. Uh, I got one right finally. Let's go. But Dale Jr. is your winner here at the Bristol night race for the second straight year. As we head to the final crown jewel uh if you're gonna put your money on anybody it should be mark martin because mark martin won the daytona 500 dale jr won the coke 600 mark martin won the brickyard dale jr won the bristol night race and so that means it would be mark martin's turn to win again if things were to stay in the same order that they've been staying in this entire time about the only thing i want to see is a dale jarrett dnf to make this championship race interesting for the last 10 races but Enough guessing about what's going to happen. Let's find out what NASCAR Thunder 2003 has to say about any of this. Well, we finished 35th, uh, which means there's a lot of chaos behind us. Jerry Nadeau, Scott Wimmer, Jeff Burton, and Robbie Gordon were the ones that were on my screen at the time. Uh, Chad Chaffin and Ashton Lewis Jr. not going to win the Southern 500, sadly. An 18-second margin of victory. You've got to be fucking kidding me. It's got to be. It's not. It's Jeff Gordon. Wow. He's pissed. He's pissed right now. Tony Stewart finishes second. Sterling Marlin, half a lap behind pretty much, by the way. Uh, Sterling Marlin third. Rusty Wallace in fourth. Dale Jarrett in fifth. Probably, well, no, they all finished on the lead lap, it says. I don't know how that's possible when he won by 18 seconds. Uh, Kurt Busch in sixth. Kevin Harvick, Dale Jr., Matt Kenseth, Johnny Benson. Yeah, I just don't think any of these guys ended up on the lead lap. Sorry. I think they all got lapped up to, like, fourth. <laughs> That's my guess. But Jeff Gordon, wow. He's driving mad. 325 laps led. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's too big of a gap to come back from, but yeah. All right. Time to flip the page. We know who it's going to be. I, again, am curious if it's a whole race gap or not is really the question. Holy shit. Um, it's not even, not even fucking close. Dale Jarrett, my god, he's just been consistent. Like, he has a, at least one DNF, maybe two, a lot of bad finishes. Sterling Marlin has one, maybe two DNFs. Jeff Gordon has like three. Uh, yeah, it's eesh, 10 races to go. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, now all he has to do is win a race and pass Dale Sr., which thankfully he has not done yet, so I didn't miss it. I had was very scared that I missed it. Um, but yeah, Dale Jarrett. I mean, really, really, the argument needs to be made. I said, I the question was at the beginning of two episodes ago, or the, the title of the video was Potential New Go. Is he, he's solidifying his case right now. He is solidifying his case as one of the best NASCAR drivers of all time, which is awesome. This is awesome. This is super cool. I have been sitting here in silence trying to think of what to say. Um, the margin of victory is 0 .030. 68 lead, lead changes. One off of being really nice. Harrison Burton DNF'd. So, just another normal day at the race shop. Or at the racetrack. I have no idea. I'm hoping for a shock winner. I don't know why I have that feeling, but I do. I have not checked. I record all these... Well, I'm holding the controller because, I mean, obviously, I talk about my controller breaking all the time. It's shit. It is Matt Kenseth. I am heartbroken. <laughs> I'm heartbroken. I hype myself up so much. Um, Matt Kenseth wins. Jeff Gordon second. Jeff Burton, Bill Elliott, Terry Labonte, Jimmy Johnson, Ricky Rudd, Bobby Labonte, Sterling Marlin, Rusty Wallace. Dale Jarrett's in 11th. It's not that bad for DJ. Jeff Gordon's going to gain some points, but he's still like 300 back. So it really, it really does not matter. It really does not matter. Uh, it's, it. I mean, if it can be over with 10 races left, it's about as over as it can be with 10 races left. 14.1 margin of victory. Matt Kenseth DNF, so it's not Kenseth this time. It's not Kyle Petty, sadly, who didn't even make it a lap. Um, 
Oh, not gonna make a joke. Um, not gonna make any jokes about Kyle Petty not making it a lap. <laughs> uh, it's not Matt Kenseth, really. It's not Matt Kenseth or Sterling Marlin. It's gotta be, it's either Dale Jarrett or Jeff Gordon, and it, it just has to be. It's probably DJ. It's not DJ, it's Jeff Gordon. I was wrong, but I was right at the same time. Um, 262 laps lot. He just marched through the field. Uh, Rusty Wallace, Wallace finishes second. Jeff Burton finishes third. Dale Jr., Kevin Harvick, Dale Jarrett in sixth. Ricky Rudd, Ryan Newman, Tony Stewart, Ashton Lewis Jr. again in tenth. That's the best a four car has run this entire time. Uh, it's too much ground to make up. I'm not going to get excited, but Jeff Gordon, domination, really. He needs to win, like, every race, and that won't even do it. Be realistic, guys. Stop getting excited in the comments. Ooh, eight tenths of a second. Margin of victory. We finished 35th. There's chaos. There's chaos. Not enough chaos, though. Ashton Lewis Jr. DNFs in the middle of his incredible real rookie season, I'd say. Uh, he's been really good in the four car. It's been a surprise. Dale Jr. wins at Dover. I was expecting like 397 laps led. I don't know why. Couldn't tell you why. Uh, Tony Stewart finishes second. Mark Martin, Jeff Burton, Bill Elliott, Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, Kurt Busch, Bobby Labonte, Dale Jarrett in 10th, Rusty Wallace, Sterling Marlin, Kevin Harvick. Not bad enough finishes for Dale Jarrett for anybody to actually capitalize on him. I spent forever trying to think of that word in the last video, and it took me almost an hour into this recording to find it here, too. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's too little too late for everybody. We all know it. No DNFs in this one. No cautions. Jeremy Mayfield and Harrison Burton getting outrun by fantasy drivers. Love to see it. 3.3 uh, margin of victory. Dale Jarrett. Matt Kenseth. Same thing. Uh, <laughs> not really. It's not the same thing. But Dale Jarrett finishes second. Sterling Marlin in third. Rusty Wallace, Terry Labonte, Tony Stewart, Bobby Labonte, Dale Jr., Jimmy Johnson, Mark Martin, Jeff Gordon is in 12th place. Not good. Not good. I mean, he has, he had to beat, it. I mean, you're not going to beat him, but he would have had to have beat him, uh, really, for this to matter in any which way. Jimmy Johnson DNF'd. That's exciting. 6.68 seconds is the margin of victory here at Talladega. Two cautions, 30 lead changes. Disappointing. I'd be disappointed if it was a six-second margin of victory without a huge crash behind. And Sterling Marlin wins. Sterling Marlin wins at Talladega. Dale Jarrett finishes second. Mark Martin, Kurt Busch, Bobby Labonte, Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, Bobby Hamilton, Matt Kenseth, Jeff Green in 10th. I mean, it's over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> I mean, it's like a two-race lead and a three-race lead in realistic terms. <laughs> it's just... I mean, he has obliterated the field. Five wins. Still just tied with Dale Sr. 5.8 average finish. My goodness. That's inhuman. 9.1... I mean, what's the best we've seen in this sim? I don't even know. What was Junior's when he won his championship? It was 6.6. .6. So this is literally the best season we've seen since Dale Jr. With a 6.6. 5.8's .6. ridiculous, bro. That's nuts. That's... That's nuts. That is insane. No DNFs. No cautions. One second margin of victory. Did he break the record finally? No, he didn't. Sterling Marlin wins the race. Rusty Wallace second. It's not even a record he's breaking. He's just passing Dale Sr., but, you know, it's fine. Uh, Ricky Rudd in third. Jeff Burton in fourth. Matt Kenseth fifth. Bill Elliott. Dale Jarrett. Tony Stewart. Jeff Gordon. Kyle Petty. Kyle Petty with his one top ten for the year. That's really what we're waiting for now. If, it, if there was nothing exciting going to happen the rest of the season, I would honestly just sim. And it, you guys wouldn't see anything unless, like, he DNF'd or something. I am... I want him to get that, which is character development, considering two episodes, I wanted him to lose everything. Um, <laughs> so stupid.
Just ignore me. Just ignore me. Um, there's chaos behind us. I don't know how much. Probably not enough. Uh, or not anything too crazy. Uh, but if you are enjoying what you're watching, make sure to hit the subscribe button, even though I can be unbearable at times. Jimmy Johnson DNF. Fuck you, Jeff Gordon. Ugh, he was so close. Dale Jr. wins at Martinsville. Dale Jarrett. Mark Martin. Kenseth. Marlon Stewart. Burton. Jeff. Rusty Wallace. Kevin Harvick. And Kurt Busch. So, yeah. I mean, it was, it was over. And now it's just more over. I mean... There's only going to be one major DNF that pops up. It would be Dale Jarrett. Tony Stewart wins at Atlanta. Dale Jarrett again finishes second. Can you just do it, the thing, please? Um, Matt Kenseth in third. Mark Martin in fourth. Jeff Gordon in fifth. Jeremy Mayfield. Ashton Lewis Jr. again in the top ten. Rusty Wallace. Dale Jr. Ricky Rudd in tenth. Um, not. I mean, I'm just... I want him to do it. Just do it already, please. Like, you're just... Do it for the content. Win a race. Um, that's not what you were supposed to do. Dale Jarrett DNFs. I don't... It doesn't do anything. Bill... El <laughs> Bill Elliott wins the race. Jeff Green finishes in the... What the hell? Hold on. Okay, Bill Elliott wins at Rockingham. That's awesome to see. Jeff Burton finishes second. Jeff Green finishes third. Two top fives on the year. I don't think he had a top five before this. Jeff Gordon finishes in fourth. Mark Martin, Ricky Rudd, Rusty Wallace, Johnny Benson, Dale Jr., Ryan Newman. Um, awesome to see Bill Elliott win a race. I don't know if he will... He's another one that, like... I don't know when he's going to just hang it up. It could be after the season. It could be after... It could never happen. I don't know. Um... So, cool to still see him winning races. Now we just need Jeremy Mayfield to win a race because the Everham cars can win. I also double-checked to make sure it really didn't actually do anything. It, it didn't. It, it didn't. You, we already knew it wasn't gonna, so... I'm just showing this to you so you do know nothing happened. Oh, oh somebody spanked the field. Uh, Ashton Lewis, Jamie McMurray, DNF. I, that's the first time I've seen Jeremy, Jamie, Jamie McMurray. Golly, why can I not talk? First time we've seen Jamie McMurray DNF in a hot minute, and there it is. Finally, Dale Jarrett passes Dale Sr. on the all-time wins list with 77, another milestone collected. Uh, Sterling Marlin finishes second, Matt Kenseth in third, Ricky Rudd in fourth, Rusty Wallace in fifth, Ryan Newman, RRR, wow. Jeremy Mayfield, I'm surprised I made it through that. Uh, Bobby Labonte in 8th, Kurt Busch, Jeff Gordon in 10th. Dale Jarrett has done it. He is not only a six-time champion, by the way. Five titles in six years. But he has passed the Intimidator for most wins in a career. He's higher on the list of all-time wins is what I'm trying to say, but I'm stupid. As we're going to go to Homestead and finish it off. Um, it's been a good year. I mean, the second half of the season hasn't been nearly as crazy. It's just been Dale Jarrett just stomping everybody, really. That's what it's been. Um, incredible. I mean, just incredible consistency. I'm not even mad. Like, just incredible, incredible consistency from DJ. It's been insane. <laughs> Scott Wimmer does 15 laps and calls it a night. A, a day. A nay? Night or day? I don't know if it's a night or a day race, but he calls it... No, it's a day race. I do know that, actually. He calls it a day. Um, yeah, I mean... Nobody DNFs. That's a vac Nobody's actually important anymore at this point other than Dale Jarrett, because he's the champ and not the race winner. I really thought he was going to be. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. wins the final race of the season. Ricky Rudd finishes second. Jeff Gordon, Ryan Newman, Tony Stewart... Matt Kenseth, Rip, Robbie Gordon, Dale Jarrett, Bill Elliott, Bobby Labonte. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, mud stomp the entire competition. I am it, it embarrassed him. Really just embarrassed him. Look at how happy he is. Look at how happy he is. He won by at least a whole race, maybe two. That's insane. Uh, Jeff Gordon, horrible year. 
I mean, and by horrible year, I mean he only won two races. But DNF, DNF, DNF. I mean, that was those DNFs hurt him so bad he had no chance to even race Dale Jarrett, really, it felt like. Um, where's Harvick at? Harvick's seventh in points. He's he's on the come up. Man. Well, I mean, just a dot. I mean, just decimated him. Absolutely obliterated him. Dale Jarrett's a six time champ. Uh, Jimmy Spencer and Ryan Newman had four poles apiece. Obviously, Dale, holy shit, Dale Jr. won nine races. Okay, uh, Dale Jarrett won six, Kenseth five, Sterling Marlin four, Mark Martin, Jeff Gordon, Jeff Burton with two, Rusty Wallace, Tony Stewart, Bobby Labonte, Kevin Harvick, Bill Elliott, Ward Burton. And I was going to say, I think that's it. Ward Burton's only top five of the year came in his win. How sad. Uh, Sterling Marlin had 18 top fives along with Dale Jarrett, Jeff Gordon, Dale Jr., Kenseth with 17, Mark Martin, and a big drop off to Mark Martin with 13. Um, and Harvick had nine, which is quite a few. I mean, not as many as he had the year before, but I mean, look at these. This is what this is what makes me think Kevin Harvick is going to be a championship contender at some point. Is the double digit top five season, but then he has nine and nine. I mean, he's after having five and seven, a couple sevens. But he's, I mean, he's. It's going to happen. I feel like. For Happy Harv. Um, average finish, 6.5. I mean, it's just not even fucking close. I mean, that's awesome. That's just a total and utter beat down. Dale Jr. leads the most laps. Wow. Um, Dale Jarrett. Merciless. Absolutely merciless. Dale Jr. won the only Jackpot 5 race at Lowe's Motor Speedway. Uh, Ford, obviously just crushed the manufacturer's championship and no real rookie of the year so that is all for 2008 i'm gonna do silly season i'm gonna change the schedule and then i will be back i'm not gonna change the schedule too much basically just gonna add uh no yeah, yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm just gonna add in some night races but that is that is it i mean it's that's it. I'm just going to add in some night races. Maybe an extra road course. Who knows? But yes, Dale Jarrett, six-time champion. I mean, upper echelon. He's, oh, I mean, if he sticks around and gets to seven, I mean, it's on. Conversation's on. All right. After much deliberation and mistakes made, we have a new schedule. And there are two races that are going to lose a date on this new schedule as you can see there are three road courses i added one it's gonna be fun this is gonna be awesome this is gonna be the coolest season yet when i record this next time let's take a look at it starting off obviously daytona i mean the super bowl stock car racing gotta be race number one on the schedule second we have the rock Rockingham stays race number two. Then, instead of heading to Las Vegas and then back to Atlanta, we are going to stay on the East Coast, and we're going to go to Atlanta, and then we're going to go to Darlington, and then Bristol and Martinsville back-to-back, -back, which can only be fantastic. Then it's Talladega as we start to move our way move our way west. And yes, I know, I'm pretty sure Bristol is more west than Martinsville. I don't care. Um, this is, I am chief executive officer of doing whatever the hell I want. So we go to Talladega next. Then it's Texas starting a West Coast swing. Las Vegas, California. I, on second thought, probably should have put a Phoenix state in there, but I, I really, it, again, it does not matter. Then we go to back east and go to Richmond. And then we go to the Coke 600, which will stay the 12th race on the schedule. Staying... Memorial Day weekend. Um, Dover is race number 13. Pocono is race number 14. Michigan, uh, at night, will be race number 15. 
Infineon at night will be race number 16. Daytona at night. Three straight night races. It's going to be awesome. Three straight night races. Uh, and then, a bit of a surprise. We are going to run the Florida 500K at the Daytona uh, Fantasy Road Course. They don't have the real road course in there, which is kind of a shame because Daytona Road Course is cool. And then we're not done as we head to the beach. We are going to Daytona Beach in 2009, bringing it back. And then to Chicago Land, Indianapolis, the Brickyard 400 stays as the 21st race of the year. Watkins Glen in the daylight, Michigan in the daylight, Bristol night race, the Sharpie 500, still back to back with Darlington and the Southern 500. Richmond keeps both of their dates. I think Richmond's put on some good races. Uh, New Hampshire, only one date. Pocono and New Hampshire lost their dates. I don't care. I, I don't. I really don't care. I don't like... I like New Hampshire and I racing. I don't really care for it that much in real life. Same thing. Pocono's okay. It's not my favorite. Um, Dover, race number 28. Kansas Speedway, race 29. Talladega, race number 30. Back to Lowe's for the 31st race of the year. Martinsville for the 32nd. Not much has really changed here. Rockingham for race number 33. And yes, I understand it is the same Rockingham race. I messed up and I wasn't going back to fix it. Phoenix is the 34th race on the season. And we have a new finale as Homestead will be the second to last race of the year. That's right. The season is going to end where it should. At Atlanta. Not anymore because they repaved it and it's fucking stupid, but... Yes, Atlanta will be race number 36 on the old configuration. We've seen some bangers at Atlanta, and some crazy stuff happens. So we're going to switch it up a little bit and make that the end-all be-all for the next, I'd say, five or so seasons. Um, I am done. Accept the current changes. We're ready for 2009. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to crush that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And again, thank you so much for the support. 140, well, it's 141 now. It was 140 when I recorded earlier. Um, beyond excited. I love doing this series. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video before this one, or be, at the beginning of this one, I did a, a test run on NASCAR Thunder 2004. And I mean, <laughs> oh man, you think this is crazy? Some of the results I got in that one were nuts so yes keep your eyes peeled and your ears open um we're getting close to being halfway through this one so yeah i'm excited to see how it ends out dale jarrett the new goat possibly and that's all i've got we'll see you guys next time peace